Hey guys, Terry here. Um, today I am going to make a card. A uh, friend at work is expecting their second little boy and I wanted to make a card. So what I've started with is I have a Stampin' Up! set called Cuddles and Kisses. It's a cute set that has, um, I don't know how old the set is, probably a few years old. That's the old wooden mount stamps. But I like that it says the saying, uh, babies fill your heart with happy. I'm going to put that on the inside of the card. And then I've also got this uh, Letter It clear stamp set from Ranger. I'm going to use the congratulations on the outside. And then for the paper, I had this pack of nursery paper. And I thought this polka dot paper really made it pop. So I'm going to put this on a, um, this is Nina. Uh, white cardstock that's 110 pound weight, so I like it how heavy it is. And then I'm going to put this on here, and then I'm going to emboss congratulations. And I'm using old olive as the color, I think that's going to go cute with the paper. So let me get started here. I'm going to stamp congratulations on the outside, pull this little guy off here. I'm using my Misty because I want to get a really good solid image when I stamp that. Pick that up and then I'm going to be ready to emboss it with a clear embossing powder. So I'm going to do it in the green and do clear embossing. So let's stamp the word here. I love the misty because if I don't ink it up wonderfully, I can do another coat. I'll do one more in the middle here. Nice thing about it. Okay, so while that's wet, embossing powder on it. This was just a scrap of off-white paper. It doesn't have to be very solid because it's. I started to say it doesn't have to be very heavy paper because it's going to be glued down onto the other layers. So that is that. I'm going to trim this to be my little strip across my card. Got my paper trimmer. I'll wait to see how wide that needs to be. Let's stamp the inside of the card. And since it's a new stamp set, I'm going to do it a couple times to get it inked up well. And then notice the um, Notice the edge of the stamp has ink. The new Stampin' Up! ink pads are really juicy. So it's real easy to get the ink around the outside. And I know I will touch that to the paper. <laughs> so I'm going to try and keep it really straight as I stamp down. There we go. That looks really good. Okay, there's that. Now what I want to do is measure my paper. I want this to fit on the outside here. So I'm just going to take a little pencil and tick mark that. Cut it on my 
paper trimmer. That'll be cute. This was scraps. If you haven't seen my video about cutting down your scraps to the right size for cards, I'll put a link to that video. So then this paper, I really want the polka dots to show, so I'm going to do a big, do a big border. So I'm putting my two tick marks there. I'm going to use my paper cutter and cut this, and then that. paper trimmer I'm using is the um, Ranger Tonic Studios guillotine style. I like it because it gives such a smooth cut to the paper. Pencil mark is still on there. Okay, so now I can glue these down, and then I've got to cut this. I think I'll cut it, just trying to put it on here. I think I'll make it I think I'll just put it on the inside so I don't cover up the polka dots. So that'll make it from here to there. Okay, so now we'll glue it together and we will have our card made. I could pop this up too. But we'll put it across here. No wrong or right way to do it. Figure the point is to use cute paper, have the sentiment on there, and it will look adorable. I like to use printing paper. Some people stamp. and make a background paper, but when you've got really cute paper for the theme, I think it makes the card go together quickly. So we stamped, we embossed, just to add a little color to it, and then we've got the sentiment on the inside. Thanks for watching!